So you're going to use, I would use uh, red or blue because those are the easiest. Otherwise, you're going to have to mix, like if you chose orange, um, you'd have to mix a, a large amount of orange. And we just want to get to this quickly because you're going to be doing this throughout the semester. So I already have two examples that I did for you uh, that I'm going to show you quickly. So we've done, we've gone through all of the color combinations we'll be working with as well as complements. And now we're moving towards the value section. So we just practice how to make your colors darker by mixing the complements together. Now we're going to introduce white and black. Okay, so I have an example with red and I have an example with blue. Um, and since we're, uh, I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and I'll do one with orange since I have my palette ready. So I'm going to get a fresh sheet to show you how to do this. So what you want to do is um, you're going to have you're going to introduce white and black to your palette, and then you need uh, your color. So I'm going to show you if I did orange, I'm going to go ahead and premix my orange, and that's still a little bit of yellow orange. So I'm going to add a little bit more red. But like I, like I said earlier, I recommend you guys use a primary red or the primary blue that makes it the easiest. Okay, so now I have my orange. And I want to start with a clean brush. Just want to wash that out quickly. Uh, make sure you have um, a variety of brushes. You want a small and a large brush for um, areas that are harder to reach. And you're going to start with white first. Okay, so um, you want to start with a lot of white as well because <clears throat> you're going to be mixing, uh, using that color as we do all the different gradations. Okay, so I have my white. I'm loading up my brush and unloading it. Then I'm going to take a tiny, remember, white and yellow are those, the most transparent colors, so they eat the other color fast. So I just need a tiny dot of the orange. So I, I barely dip my, my brush in the orange. I'm going to do a little bit more. And this is just turning my white to the lightest shade, uh, the lightest tint of orange. So it's kind of hard to see. And then, but once we start adding the other colors, you'll see. So I'm, remember, I'm using white to, to tint my color the lightest shade possible. And then I'm, we're going to use black to make it the darkest shade possible. So I'm loading out my brush with that light orange and I'm going to go all the way to the edges of that sphere. It's okay if you go over a little bit. And make sure you're putting enough paint down so you get nice even coverage. So now I'm going to roll off that extra paint and I'm going to go back and I'm going to add some more orange to it to get the next level the next gradation. And if, if you, when you're mixing it, you want to make sure you mix all of it together. And if you um, don't go dark enough, you can always keep adding. That's why it's easier to go from light to dark. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now I'm going to, bless you. Now I'm going to add the next level. Okay, next thing I do is add more orange. And if you're ever not sure, you can always put some down and look. See, it's still too close, so I need to add more orange. I'm going to do the same thing. So I just keep going, I just keep increasing the amount of paint. So my orange is going to get darker. And it's going to look like an even gradation of that color. I haven't added, all I'm doing is adding the color to white. I'm not using anything else. Notice how I'm not using any water either. Remember how water with this type of pigment, water dilutes it too much. Also notice how I'm holding my paintbrush 
loading it up and holding it to the side so it, it uh, gives me nice even coverage and I'm not pulling the paint off the, the palette. So now that I'm, I've kind of used most of my color, I'm going to kind of scrape all of it together so I can get the most possible. I'm going to add more orange. So, so far I have four, and that's pretty close, so I'm going to add more. So you're just making this adjustment with your eyes, so here we go. So, this, like I said, it's the easiest with the primaries. When you go to secondary or the intermediate colors, it's going to be harder because you have to actually mix that color. So see I've run out of orange. I'm going to have to probably mix more. All right. So the next level would be go, would go straight to pure orange. So I'm wa washing out my brush. And I'm just going to use the orange that I mixed on my palette and lay that down. Now when I'm going to make it darker, I'm going to slowly add black to my orange to shade it. And it's okay to go ahead and just use it directly here in this container instead of since I don't have enough paint. So I'm slowly adding black and it's going to make it almost like a brown color. That's normal. Sometimes the colors look strange as we add black to it. So see how it's starting to get like a like a burnt orange. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scrape up all that color. Now I'm going to add more black to it as it gets darker. very final edge of my ball. So it actually doesn't look black. If you guys notice, it looks like it's a dark brown even. Oops, I need a smaller brush. And for the very last part, very last shade, I'm going to add more black to it to make it even darker, the darker shade possible. it's not going to be black. Remember, it's going to be dark orange, but it looks dark brown, honestly. And that's going to be my shadow. Cast shadow. Okay? So, there you have the example of orange. It's all blue and red. Okay, so these are the two easiest colors to use, the um, primaries. But if you want to do your favorite color, you know, which is violet or uh, orange, you could do those two. Yellow is the hardest one to do. Yellow actually starts to look green as we add black. Okay? I'm going to leave that up there for you to look at. You're welcome to come up here and see it as well. Uh, we're walking around helping you if you need help.